Hello, I see you would like to learn about what are the emotional consequences of childhood neglect. Neglect is the deprivation of an individual's needs. In childhood, needs are primarily met through carers and parents. This makes children extremely vulnerable to having their needs neglected. So let's get into the theories that explain this issue. John Belby came up with the well-known attachment theory, which suggests that individuals need strong, intimate, warm attachments to parental figures in childhood to have psychological well-being. An additional theory is Bowlby's maternal deprivation hypothesis, which describes the lack of mother-child attachment in childhood can lead to dysfunctional emotional consequences. But why do children have these emotional consequences? Well, emotions serve two functions in relation to neglect. One, they can promote coping, although in neglect due to the lack of parental involvement, children's coping strategies may be ineffective. And two, for social interaction. Babies and adults alike use emotions to call out for others to support them. However, in neglect, these calls may be ignored. Now for the bit you've all been waiting for, the actual emotional consequences. Firstly, emotional regulation dysfunctions. Children who do not get give and take interactions with parental figures in infancy do not gain the stepping stones to regulate their emotions and control them. Thus, children who experience neglect may be easy to cry or quick to anger. This may also lead on to relationship problems with peers and lovers. Attachments may also become excessively independent or dependent and lead on to two disorders called reactive attachment disorder and disinhibited social engagement disorder. Empathy is crucial for an individual to infer what others are feeling. It plays a role in our social interactions and one's own emotions. In cases of neglect, children do not learn this skill and they are forced to be concerned with satisfying their own needs. Psychopathy is characterized by manipulativeness, lack of emotion, lack of affect, impulsivity, and aggression. These types of emotional consequences have been linked to neglect, and it seems that one explanation for these consequences is due to the dysfunction in one brain area called the HPA axis. Depression has also been strongly linked as a consequence of childhood neglect. Children who are neglected have been found to feel shame, which can play a role in the children internalizing a negative view of unworthy selves, Neglect can create heightened threat response in individuals, which can be shown through anxiety. Finally, post-traumatic stress disorder symptomology has been linked to cases of neglect. However, this may be due to the overlap between abuse and neglect and needs more empirical research to come to a conclusion. Overall, the emotional consequences of neglect can be severe. Teachers, health professionals, or simply parents should all be aware of these consequences. This video aims to educate on the emotional consequences of neglect so that the viewer may go on with knowledge and caution of neglect in childhood.